Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday and it's time for a few of my favorite things. And I actually do not have any fails this week, so let's just jump right into it. Okay loves, I've got my basket ready and I do have some favorites. Um, you know, just some things here and there that I've been loving for the week. So let me dig through here and see what's going to be first. Okay, let's talk about this first. And I have shown this on my channel before, but this is the Pixie Brightening Peach. Um, this is something that's very affordable that you can purchase at Target or online. And this is something, um, this week I really haven't needed to do much under the eyes. So I just pretty much dab this with my ring finger and just put it on the inner corner right here because that makes you just look so bright and awake. Um, and for the discoloration that I have right there, takes it away just like that and just makes me look awake. I love it. Um, I do uh, melt that into my skin with my ring fingers and then go over it with the beauty blender just because that's what I do all over my face which that really should be a favorite every week the beauty blender because it's just amazing okay um let's talk about what I have put on top of that this week I have gone back to the Laura Geller uh, balance and brighten <clears throat> foundation in fair um, this really just is a beautiful product just dab it just ever so slightly under the eye for just a finished look doesn't look cakey and just looks amazing 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 love it um highlighter oldie but goodie mac soft and gentle i've shown this before i use my sonia kashuk fan brush just to go all over the cheek and then up by the eyes absolutely Sorry, love to pause there but my phone was ringing um, just to have a nice glowy look. So I really like that. Now let's talk about what I have used for bronzing. I cannot get out of this thing. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Uh, absolutely love it. Um, I go through these two right here. I actually use my Real Technique blush brush. Just go swipe it in between the two. Tap it off and just go around and it is truly beautiful. Um, I do use these two colors to go underneath the um, bronzing when necessary, just to make it a little bit lighter under there. So I really do like it. These colors are perfect for me. Again, I just swipe it, dab, and then doo -doo -doo, and then I'm done. This is a beautiful brush. Again, something very affordable that you can use to put this on. So I really do like that. Um, for eyes this week, I have gone to my Naked 3, uh, the Rose Gold, you know, by Urban Decay. The Rose Gold colors in here are just beautiful. Um, I have that on today as well. Just beautiful. There are so many different eye looks that you can use with this product, and, and I just love it. Absolutely love it. And since pink is my favorite color, seriously, why wouldn't I? Um, okay, now this, I have not been using this long enough to give a full review, but I just really am liking it so far. It's the Ahava Dead Sea Osmotor Eye Concentrate. This is a serum that I put under my eyes and around my eyes morning and evening before I put my eye cream on, and I'm really liking it so far. But I'm going to use it for longer just to get a full, accurate review, and then I'll give you that, but... So far, I really am liking it, and I guess I could show you. Nice, nice. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Um, okay, a brush that I have been enjoying, I'm actually almost done, I don't have that much today, uh, is the Ofra Professional Makeup Brush number 11. That is what this looks like. And I use it to go right up under the brows with my Naked Basics, my two shadows that I always put under there. Um, and this just places it there perfectly, just seamlessly, no brush strokes or anything. It really is an awesome product. Um, and I believe I got this in maybe a FabFitFun box, I'm thinking, thinking I did, because I've never purchased any Ofra products. Um, okay, let's talk about lips, and then I will show you the candle that I've been loving this week. 
um, on my lips today. You see that? Um, I have been lining them with the ColourPop pencil in... Um, let's see. What is this? Well, it looks like I have rubbed it off. Let me go get it. Hold on. Sorry about that. I had something on it or I just couldn't see it, but it was Westy. Um, and this is what I have lined my lips for this look and through the week. And that is what that color looks like. Again, that's Color Pop Lippy. And on top of that, I have used the Buxom. Um, this is one of their... Sorry, one of the Buxom lipsticks in London. I really love this. And you know how much I love the Buxom lip glosses, so it shouldn't be a surprise I have some of the lipsticks as well. And there is London. And it does have, just like the lip glosses, have kind of like a little pepperminty, not a pepperminty, but a minty kind of tingle. This does as well, but not as much as the uh, lip glosses. But I love it because it makes your lips look fantastic. And then on top of that, I have Buxom White Russian. This is an oldie but goodie for me. Um, this is my second bottle of this. I really do love it, and that is White Russian. And that is what it looks like all put together. Okay, let's talk about the candle real quick. It is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, of course, by Bath and Body Works. If I could just take a spoon and just stick it out, I would. Uh, let's see, it has an inviting mixture of harvest pumpkin, sweet vanilla cream, and fresh, freshly grounded cinnamon stick. This stuff fills my home with the most sinfully delicious smell ever, and I have loved it all week. All right, I know that was quick. Went through it, not a lot of explanation. Uh, I do have several other videos to film, and I want to get to it. So let me know what you have enjoyed down below. Can't wait to hear, and I love you all. Hope you all have a great weekend, a safe weekend.